It's time for Ryan's Roses. Here we go. If it's public service, if there's an issue in your world, you can't sort it out, come to us and we'll try our best. So Nicole is on the line in Riverside, and she says that her husband has been difficult lately. What's your husband been doing, Nicole, that's difficult? Well, um, okay. So basically, it's just that, I mean, we used to, I mean, uh, talk about everything. Like, um, we were really open about everything. We used to have great conversations. Now, it just feels like every time, no matter what we're talking about or trying to sort out, it always ends up in some kind of fight. Um, And it just feels... Like, things have really shifted. We never used to fight this much. Now it's, like, almost an argument, like, daily. Um, And and it just feels like I can't say anything without it being met with um, so much resistance, if that makes sense. Yeah, it sounds like there's Uh, resentment that's stirred mm -hmm. in this deep down inside. Yeah, so like something bigger is going on here than just we're arguing. Like, it, it feels like we can't talk about anything we used to talk about without it just sort of... How long have people. you been married to this man? So we've been married for 14 years. Any kids? Wow. And Yeah, we have three kids. Um, and I know that makes life super busy. So I'm just wondering if, if is that part of it? Is it just that we're... You know, we're not having enough time to be alone together and connect. Well, or let me hold on for a second. Yeah. Let, let's call him next for Ryan's Roses, okay? Uh, okay, okay. Right. First, uh, here they are, you guys. Mm. Let's get to uh, Ryan's Roses. Let's get back to Nicole. She's on the phone. She's been married fourteen years, and there's resentment with her husband. And he wants to just, he actually, try, it seems like he's picking fights. She thinks that something's going on. You think that he's cheating on you. And so we're going to call him. I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call and then his name on KISS FM. Go ahead. Okay, Ryan, you have my permission to call on KISS FM. So J- Sisney is going to call him mm-hmm. and we are going to try and find out who is top of mind, who he sends these roses to. So stay very Thank quiet you. until we tell him he's on the air, okay? Okay. Okay, here right. we go. Good luck. Good luck. Hello. Hi, I'm looking for Danny. This is Danny speaking. Hi, Danny. My name is Gretchen. I'm calling from Riverside Roses. How are you doing this morning? I'm good, Gretchen. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. So we're actually a new flower shop near Central and Magnolia, um, right here, basically in the heart of Riverside. And we're new to the area, so we're trying to promote our business. The reason I'm calling, and before you hang up, please just hear me out. We're giving away a dozen red roses. They're absolutely free. You can send them to anybody that you'd like. I don't need any money or credit card info from you. We just hope that you refer us to friends and family. It's a promotion that we're doing this month, and you've been selected. Is there anybody that you would like to send these roses to? Uh, okay. Um, yeah, you don't need any money. No, it's, I don't need credit card info, anything like that, or billing okay. info, nothing like that. We just hope that whoever receives these roses likes them, spread the word, tell friends and family, and, and hopefully we, our business will pick up a little bit. All right, cool. Uh, okay. I, I, uh, I'd like to send those roses to Ryan. I'm sorry, what, say that again? Uh, could you send those roses to Ryan, please? Um, Ryan? First name, Ryan. Yeah, last name, Seacrest. And the note should say, okay. uh, really, bro? Come on. Um, I'm not going to fall for this. I'm a, I'm a fan of the show. <sighs> Danny, it is Ryan Seacrest. Thank you for the gift. Boom. I knew it. My pleasure. Thank you, bro. That is actually, I have to say, in all honesty, that is like the first time that someone's thought of me like that to send me the roses. So I'm grateful. Oh, well, you know, I, I, I wish I could say it was entirely my gratitude, but... Uh, I said, listen, uh, it's I, just a thought that counts, but I have your wife, Nicole, on the line, and she, since you sent the roses, you know how this works. She's obviously asked us to call you because she thinks she's, you're cheating on her. That is, that, that's, that's not... Man, like, uh, I, I'm, I'm obviously, I'm, look, I'm not cheating on my wife. I love my wife. So she thinks that you're picking fights with her. You're very testy and there's some sort of built up resentment. Maybe just tell her she's on the phone. You could just tell her what's going on. Nicole. Hi, Um, I'm here. Hey, uh, (laughs) look, I have been testy and, uh, I, I think the fact of the matter is, um, 
sometimes it's easier to uh, kind of ignore problems and make it about other stuff than, than actually sit down and talk about them. Yeah. And uh, look, I love you. Okay, I, 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 <laughs> I, I still, I've always loved you, and I, I don't want to, I don't want to have Ryan Seacrest uh, be involved next time something happens. <laughs> So how about sure. how about we uh, t- tonight we we go home and we talk like we used to you know and and like no distractions and just you and I see if we can't work stuff out. I mean, yes, I would love that if we could just talk the way that we used to. It would be, be great. Great. Yeah. Um, All right, you guys well, can I, do your own thing, and uh, I appreciate you sending me the flowers. Dude, enjoy them. And uh, hey, look, I, I wouldn't have, uh, I guess, wished to confront marriage stuff like this. But uh, hey, it takes what it takes. So thanks, Ryan. And it is what it is. Yeah. And so on that note, yeah. happy Halloween, guys. And thanks for listening, actually. And take care. Yeah, it's nice of him to be so loyal to I listen mean, to the show, to yeah. know the roses to send. But I have to say, I was kind of touched. <laughs> That's the first time someone's actually thought to send them. To <laughs> I don't think he was sending them to you to be nice. Yeah, he was. No. Mm.